everybody talk like normal, like you're talking to each other? Yeah, so you know Lupita? Yeah. She's the baddest bitch. Do you know Lupita? No. The order. Monica thinks she could beat me up with some boxing gloves. Because I can. You know I went to classes for boxing. So did I. Me despeiné por tu culpa, mi amiga. Today is our third annual pumpkin carving flat painting event. Wait, do I have to get off a of life or no? Yeah. Say bye, Monica. Bye. bye Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Lupita. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Say bye, Monica. Monica secretly crushing you. Crushing on you? No, it said Monica secretly cursing you. <gasps> well, that's true. <laughs> She was like, how, how, how am I pregnant? Anyway, so next thing you know, when she was about to have labor, I was going to pops out or her and stuff like that. I remember I was listening to music and uh, we heard some banging on the, on the door. October, in mid-November, some random night. It's around this time. We actually have no ideas for pumpkin. I know, that's what I'm oh, looking you base the face no, off of the No, don't tell them nothing. Don't tell them nothing. You Let them figure it out in their little brains. You get a good look at the pumpkin. Monica, Matthew, shh. Are you going to let that slide? Are you going to shut up? Um, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a... about to dial 1-800-SHOCO. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Who the f*** are you talking to? Mom, I love you so much. That's not your mom. How about you go tell that to your real mom? Man, man, mom. Because she never hears it. No. Cowgirl. ¿Y tú por qué le contestas? Porque me quiere. Mom? It's not Woo! pumpkin carving, remember? It's painting. Well, it's carving because Mateo's carving. Oh, you're exactly. carving? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly, period. What are you <laughs> Can everybody introduce themselves, actually? I'm Monica. I'm Jocelyn. As all you know, I'm the baddest of all. And my name is Lupita. Lupinas. The baddest. Shut up. Momo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done. You guys, as you guys know, um, I'm the baddest, and Monica is always so jealous of me. That's why she's mad. Wait, what? Y yo soy Mateo. El más chulo. El Grinch. Lo amo. Get off of him. Si es un Grinch bien hairy. Si es mi hija. Talking about. Oh. Mateo just turned 25. Everybody yeah. say happy birthday. No, no, when was your birthday? Do you have your water? It's literally water. It's not water. Yeah, what this time it's actually water. Do you actually have to work? It's so lame. Wow, I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for the. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, I really thought it was for that. I'm sorry. Okay, I like to base the face off of the pumpkin. Me personally, I like to give the pumpkin a good look, full 360, you know, look at the character of the pumpkin. I understand that, but um I'm just doing I'm just doing it cuz um no, that's good. You do um, you. Okay, so I have a story, a scary, a scary story, a scary story to tell scary you guys. Tory. No, actually, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Wait, go no, see. You have to say it. Yeah, you have to now. No, because I'm scared. Where we live, there's someone else, like a, a family living with us now. And um, every time people come to my my uncle's house to live there or something, they always like end up running out because they get scared of how scary it is in there. But honestly, like, and nothing happens to me and my fiance because I feel like I think it's like my aunt. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't know. But like, so the lady called me like she was so scared because there was a frame in the wall like literally like right here and um she was just standing there and the um thing just went flying towards her and then like she was listening to music she was listening to music and um i remember my aunt would told me one time that she didn't like listening to music anymore because of um well she passed away already but she did not listen to music ever since her son died so um when she passed away i remember i was listening to music and um we heard some banging on the, on the door or like somewhere i don't know and i got scared so i never kind of listened to music but now i'm starting to listen to music and nothing happens thank god but um the lady was listening to music and um someone turned it off so then she's like oh maybe it died or something and then she checked it she's like, oh maybe it just turned off so she turned it back on and that the door just closed on her 
Monica wasn't <coughs> even listening to my story. Got me fed up. Oh well, actually, first, what am I doing? I have to cut the top off and empty this bitch. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> empty the Kit Kats and then move that. Move the back. For what? It looks pretty. Cause we on we are, we can have empty candies. You should have showed them your your. I'm best. okay. And you now so rude. and now it looks pretty. So, babe, are you okay? You over there? He's off the he, bed. He over there hearing <laughs> stuff. All right, have y'all seen Brokeback Mountain? No. <laughs> That's my costume. Yeah. Gia, you watched it? Huh? I watched the other one, the fun, the parody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. I'm just a basic pumpkin. She in six dollars. Okay, what about you, Lupita? I'm the baddest bitch. That's not a costume. You have a cape on. Oh, uh, I'm a witch, according to uh, Mateo. Oh yeah. So the lady was telling me that someone sh she heard knocking in the front door, and when she went to go check, there was nobody. So and then she went through the back because um she heard the knocking in the back. And she went back there and no was, there was nobody, so they were just messing with her. What the hell is this? <laughs> Are you making a Donkey Kong? <laughs> you know what? I overestimated my painting skills. <laughs> this burger, one, burger, ain't nobody gonna read that. Wow. Burger? <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa's death and the banshee. That Hi, Monica. Cool. And everybody else. Hey. Did you really say that? No. <laughs> this is the story of how it was. Oh God, I can't read today. This is the story you of how. Never. And you can't pay an idol. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. This is the story of how I was warned about my grandpa's death the night before he died. My family went over to my grandma and grandpa's house since it was his 65th birthday. I was in the fourth grade at the time, so I was having fun with my family. The night went perfectly up until we said goodbye for the last time. We were planning on going back the next day for the party with his co-workers and their kids. However, I knew something was going to happen. At around 6 a.m., I woke up to the sound of a woman screaming. I was terrified because this never happened in our neighborhood. It sounded like she was in pain and needed help. I woke up my parents and told them about it but they didn't hear it which was odd because our rooms were side by side and both our windows were open i even asked my sister if she heard it and she said no i assumed it was a bad dream and went back to bed for the next two hours while my parents went to help set up for the party my nana my dad's mom came to babysit us two hours later my parents came home to inform us that our grandpa died that morning that morning of presumably a heart attack we were all upset and did not know what to think it wasn't until seventh grade that i found out what a banshee was since that side of the family was irish i had to do a project on my irish Irish family story. In Irish folklore, a banshee is a spirit of a woman who wails and cries when someone in your family dies. She is not the grim reaper or a d-word, but she is an omen of death and wants to prepare you for the death of a loved one. I got chills. Although we don't live in Ireland, I found it unusual that I heard a woman screaming the morning of my Irish grandpa's death. I remembered this story because recently I heard her again, this time with his mother slash my great grandmother. I was working the night shift at my local grocery store when I heard a woman scream inside the freezer in the back. I quickly finished stocking the shelves and ran to the freezer thinking it was a coworker of mine. When I opened the freezer, the screaming stopped. I closed it thinking it might be the vents in it, but nothing was screaming when I closed it. I radioed everyone asking if anyone got hurt near the back and screamed and they said no. When I got home at 7.30, my mom told me my great grandma died. Even though I didn't see her in the last three years due to her Alzheimer's, I still love her. I'm glad she and her son are together in heaven now. I know I will hear the banshee again, but this time I am not scared because I know what sound she'll make. Love your videos, Monica, and I hope you and your loved ones are staying safe during the quarantine. Oh, damn, this is from 2020. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Hopefully you won't hear the banshee. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Oh, hell no. I don't know what I would do. I, that reminded me of that one thing where Sam and Colby accidentally Whoa! captured a uh, woman's screams of her getting murdered in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I what? See that. Yeah, they were in the forest somewhere and they were just doing some video and they heard a woman screaming, screaming for her life in, in the background. And they were scared, they were creeped out, and they left, and sure enough, turns out that that lady was getting moited. What does that mean? Murdered. I said murdered in a funny way. Oh my god, they didn't help her? No. Well, they didn't know. They thought that it was like someone doing like a prank or... Yeah, you know. Yeah. Did it come out of the news? Uh, yeah, it did. Yeah. Laura, if you're listening, it doesn't matter what type of trouble. There's nothing we can't fix together. What Tessier didn't know is that Maryland police suspected Laura was already dead and that he might be the killer. So let me say something. Me and my sisters, we get like 
a feeling like a bad feeling when like something crazy is gonna happen and like we all text like, each other the same thing we're all like are you guys okay like stay inside because i think something bad's gonna happen and one time i was in washington with fabi and uh and i was telling her like dude i feel like something really bad is gonna happen she said that she was having the same kind of anxiety and i think nelly said the same exact thing like she she messaged us without having to say anything so that like that night my my little cousin in mexico was like murdered like shot who? Yeah, my little cousin in Mexico. Can you be swearing everybody wants them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Why are you saying mm hmm? <laughs> She's gonna go back home on the right, so why do you say that? <laughs> yeah. Period. Literally. She was just a like SpongeBob or Patrick at this. Look at this. Right? Oh, looks good. Jocelyn didn't know how to paint. Is she going for Donkey Kong? Because if so. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's doing a really good job. Oh, I just remembered. I think when I was turning like 16 or 17. Um, why do you say it like that? I was like, like it was a long was... time ago. You know, it's funny that at, when she was 15 or 16, we were friends and we were neighbors. They, they thought they were too cool for me. We were. No, you weren't. They think we were. I was no, always you your friend. What are you talking and about? I'm looking at me now. Certified with the check. We'll talk about that um, when I make my apology video, or when they have to make theirs. You guys hurt my feelings with that. I never. Yeah. I, I I told you that I was your friend since a long time ago. Exactly. You guys will close the door on me. <laughs> <laughs> Monica was mean to me, you guys. Because you would come in with, without knocking. Be yeah. honest. I think I found your mom naked one time. <laughs> nah, but you guys would tell me just come in, so I would come in. I... Be that whacked into my house without knocking. Whacked in. Whacked in. She whacked in without <laughs> knocking, and my mom was on the toilet, and she saw her and ran out. <laughs> oh my god, you guys want to know a story? So one time. She's about to fight you. She's always ready to go. It didn't work. What are you doing, Lupita? You should have put, you should have, uh, you should have done a ghost. You know why? Because I live at my ghost, Steve. <laughs> That's fucked up. You should have done that. She That's fucked up. I dedicate this to Alabama. <laughs> Monica's depressed now, you guys. It's okay, I'm depressed. Oh, why are you depressed? I'm not depressed, I'm chilling. You, you just said I'm gonna, anyway. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys because I'm leaving. This is my pumpkin. <gasps> what the hell? She made, made a watermelon. A, I made a trash can. She made a watermelon. Lupita! I messed up everything. I'm dirty. Monica, I think no, I you're not because you didn't even make anything. I have to go home. Fine, get out of here. Why are you so mad? Leave. You ugly Leave. Oh my god. Get in my house. Don't come back without knocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, I'm Casey, and hopefully this is the right email, and if not, I'm sorry, just ignore this. I wanted to share a scary story that my grandmother told me when I was little. This story is why I'm afraid of the dark and I never go outside at night alone. So I am Native American, specifically Navajo, and I'm from New Mexico. And once my grandmother's brother, that I have only met once and let's call him Sam, said that while he was living in a small house on the reservation, he saw a guy on this hill with ripped and old clothes just standing there, but stood up like, like it was on his hind legs. And it was during the night, so he flashed his phone light at the guy and his eyes were red and the face had human-like features like like the nose was human-like and the ears then the guy made a weird coyote-like noise and he then imitated sam's voice but higher pitched and kind of off of course being on the reservation in the middle of the night sam got really scared and froze there not being able to move as it kept getting closer and to make it worse his phone died so he was left in the pitch black from what my traditional family taught me was to never make eye contact with them or else they would be able to imitate and disguise themselves as you which is terrifying mm -hmm. never make eye contact that's so hard I, I feel like that's almost inevitable because first of all how do you not know like how do you know because like if you're walking down the street you know and you see one True. you're not gonna be like oh that's an s walker you know you're gonna have to look at it for I'm gonna a be while like, and be who are you Imagine? yeah you're gonna have to look at it for a while that? and be like wait a minute what? that does not look like a regular like animal you know what remember in sarah the ghost i think it was episode two we were trying to come up with all these theories of what could be haunting this place and we came to the conclusion that it's monica's ass yeah anyway I forgot what I was seeing! <laughs> Sarah the Ghost, oh, part yeah, two. In, in episode two, there was a 
a theory that I came up with that it could possibly be S. Walker. But reading the story, like, about making eye contact, we've all heard, like, each other's voices. Well, I haven't, but everybody else has heard each other's voices. Who's everybody? So, like, my mom and Fabi have heard, like, my dad's footsteps and stuff, like, they've heard our voices. They've heard, my mom has heard me singing in the room when I wasn't even home. Oh, <clears throat> And Nelly has heard my mom's voice. We've all heard each other's voices. I saw Fabi's face. Oh yeah, we tell that story. That was kind of creepy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what if it's somebody in the neighborhood like that the could be an S walker? <gasps> Oh, I remember you saying that. Really? Dude, yeah. I totally believe it. I wouldn't doubt it. Why not? So, I don't want to, like, you know, but what if it's someone that used to live here? Because do you know what an S walker is? Oh, I see that. Do you know, do you know what an S walker is? Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> okay, here's the thing about Noelis, like, S walkers. They are supposedly witches. They have this power of being able to, sh yeah, to shape shift into. The pizza's in our own world. You two are in your own world. No. Oh yeah, they're they're uh, brujas yeah. or brujos. They have this special ability to, to shape shift into animals, and the way that they get this ability is by killing one of their family members. So that's how the story goes. So it has to be like a person. Maybe it's one of the neighbors. I thought killing your family or whatever is you get famous or something. Famous. That's if you make a deal, and I guess that's what you have to pay. Why you want to do that? Oh. Yeah, like that's why we family remember. Word of advice. <laughs> we family family yeah, remember. Hell no. <gasps> Before I forget, I actually do have something scary that happened at my house. I was feeding my cats, and you know how I said like the ghost cat or whatever. I fed. I like to feed them towards the back, and you know, Sunny is an outdoor cat, a street cat. So I like to feed her by the back door, and I was feeding. Um, Sonny and Sarah and then you know they're eating whatever I go to the front door and I see Sonny there and she's looking at me but usually Sonny meows a lot you know but this time like Sonny was just staring at me and I was like you know what like what's wrong and I was like you're not Sonny and it wasn't Sonny because Sonny meows a lot she's a very like vocal cat and when I went to the back door, Sonny was still eating with Sarah. So I was like, who is this? And when I went back, the cat wasn't there anymore. So it was like identical to Sonny. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I'm scared now because of my dog. And there are, there are a lot of like calico cats in my neighborhood. But I know Sonny's pattern, you know, like her face, like what it looks like. So like, I was just like, you are not my cat, you know? Oh, let me finish Casey's story. <clears throat> He started hearing footsteps and noises around him, so he ran back into his house and he tripped and felt a pain on the side of his head, which didn't feel like a headache or migraine, but a weird pain that he never felt before. And he said that he couldn't sleep because he was so scared and he just locked all of his doors and windows and sat on the floor in his bedroom. And throughout the night, he could... S I feel like this thing is staring at me. That's scaring me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. How about mine? Say it's cute too. It's cute. You have to say, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> you dumb hoe. Monica, I'm going home. I was using my sock as a napkin because Monica didn't give me no <laughs> um, <laughs> tissue paper. You never asked me. <laughs> this is my motherfucking pumpkin. It's Monica. It's very unique. I am very talented. Bye, you guys. I gotta go because I work tomorrow. And I smell like ass. Oh, you're done? Let's go yeah. Home. Wait, so this one first? is my... I actually sleep with the curious George. Anyway, so this is what I did. Look at his ears. Check out his ears. He blinged out. So cute. Oh, thank you. <gasps> curious George. It's not no Donkey Kong. Oh my god. Okay, well from my point of view, all I saw was his ears. Yeah, true, true. That's good. Look, she's not even telling you it's good. She's <laughs> good. Ew! We finished this damn story. He said that he couldn't sleep because he was so scared and he just locked all of his doors and windows and sat on the floor in his bedroom and throughout the night he could still hear it outside and he could hear, hear scratches on the ceiling of his house and tapping on his walls. When the sun came up, his phone turned on even though at the time that it died, he said it was only at 50%. So he went out and drove to my grandmother's house which took about four hours because when on the reservation there are houses that are one to three hours away from each other. So not close at all. So he drove to her house and he told her everything. She said that what he saw was an S walker trying to lure or get close to him 
him to harm him in some way. And the pain in his head was the ass walker touching him. Get the fuck out of here. After that, he moved in with my grandmother until he got sick a few days later with a cold that would not go away. So my grandmother took him to the hospital and they did a full body scan. And the doctors came back and told him that they had found a tumor the size of a bean on the side of his head where he felt the pain. This was very unexpected news for both him and my grandmother because he had gone to the doctor last week for his annual checkup and they said he was healthy and nothing was wrong. And his wife had passed a couple years earlier from cancer also. So when they drove home, my grandmother said that the S walker placed the tumor where he felt the pain and they prayed and went to what is called a medicine man in our tradition and the man said that whatever put it there wanted to cause harm to Sam. Over a couple of months he got treatment and surgery and thankfully they were able to remove it and it didn't spread or get larger and he felt better after that and to this day he is healthy and happy living with his wife in Arizona. If you're ever on a reservation <laughs> please don't go outside at night or alone because it can be scary and dangerous. It's kind of good like the Thank size you. of a bean. A bean is really small which yeah. is good. At least they caught it. And they caught it early. It that kind of reminds me of the one, the story that you told. About one, the uh, pregnant uh, one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead, tell it. Yeah, no. Why? If you want to hear the Dunder story, go back to... What video was that? Episode. Griffith Park fail. Who farted? Griffith Park is not as the pumpkin. No one farted. Oh. It's the Dunder story. If you know, you know. Period. Period. Long story short, my mom lived in Mexico and she had this friend and you know how in Mexico everybody knows each other because it's a small ass town and you know if somebody's with somebody you know and basically in Mexico it's weird because if you if you're with somebody you're basically with them your whole life because that's how weird. little Mexico is hell no I can't do that well in Mexico you know that's why they get married like at 15 and stuff but anyways the point was that my mom had this friend and she was with this guy but the the guy had a wife and then I guess they ended up finding out that he was cheating and then my mom's friend actually was the one that was messing with the married guy right so then Basically, long story short, she ended up finding out and somehow I guess she did something to her So she ended up getting pregnant, but that my mom's friend was saying that they didn't have no relation, you know So she was like, how, how, how am I pregnant? Yeah. Anyway, so next thing you know, when she was about to have labor, a duende pops out of her and stuff oh. like that But when it pops out, the duende ends up like killing the doctors, so everybody died that's, that's it. Long story short, that's what happened. You see, that's why you don't mess with people here. Especially in Mexico. I, I don't know, but Mexico, for sure, over there, I believe everything. Oh, yeah. When it comes to brujeria, when it comes to... Wait, brujeria is kind of the same thing as witchcraft, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Spanish, English, anyways. All okay, that... bilingual queen. La Llorona, <laughs> all that, I believe it. October, in mid-November, some random night. It's around this time. Wait, she said after Is that a cat? You heard that? Is that a cat? No, that was the TV. We just heard a cat go, Arr! That was the TV. Y'all better walk me to my house. Okay, guys, so I'm finally done with my pumpkin. Can anybody guess who do, this do, is? Do, do. Oh, verga! That's me! <laughs> That's so you know good. It is. I love it. Do you know who it is? Oh, is it from The Ring? It's right. Oh. I don't know what the fuck. I this love it is. though, Monica. Oh. It's so cute. You thought I made this? Like, girl, what? <laughs> okay. This is I like face. yours better. Alright, throw it away now. Do the same face expressions. <laughs> Aww. She looks like a changa. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> wow. Ew. Yeah. It looks scary. <laughs> Spooky. So cute. Okay, What's but story? but does it sit down? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh my god! <laughs> You're saying what's up? What's up? Who trying to do spooky stuff? Hit me up. What's up? Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody vote on your favorite pumpkin. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is a reminder. This is Lupita. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is mine. This is mine. Is just Momo's cute, simple, nothing. quick, cute. For me, it's a tie-up between Momo and Monica, for sure. I like yours too, though. I actually no, do like. No, but yours it. actually has like artistic. Mine's just simple. Value to mine's it. Mine's just Both simple, like guys. me. It actually looks like girl. Curious George. Just simple girl. That looks like it could be up in a museum. 
Wow. That, actually, that actually just look good, Monica. Yeah, oh, look you. at the shading. Good job, good look job. at everything. It's 10 out of 10 beautiful. recommend. Okay, you. thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mm, Alright, buy me some wings up now. Oh, boys. I'm not gonna buy her no fucking wings. <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy Halloween. Where am I, cowboy, at? My brokeback mountain. Yeehaw!